previously on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Good morning. Is this mailbox talking to me? Welcome to the Isle of Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Uh, I don't know. You don't know, motherfucker? Get out of my sight. You ain't got shit to mail. I ain't got shit to talk to me for. I don't know how I'm talking to you at all. Bitch, I said back the fuck up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said back the fuck up. Like, okay, well, I don't want any issues, man. I don't want any issues. Oh, God. And now back to, hey, Link, do you like boats? Uh, no, not particularly. Hey. Sneako B! Back with some more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. When we last left off, we got introduced to our new Link, Lazy Link, and he has absolutely no desire to be in the story whatsoever. No, I don't. Just want to go tip back and take my little nappy. He lives on an island with his little sister and his grandma. And he's just come of age, but you know what that means. Time to put on these ugly green clothes that he just loves so much. Look how much he loves them. Oh, they're so itchy, though. But we can't stay relaxed because, ah, oh, crap, there's a big bird and it's got this girl and dropped him in a forest. And, oh, don't worry, I'm going to come save you. And, oh, wait, you, you didn't actually really need my help. You just kind of got down from the tree yourself. Okay. Well, that's that's fine. And, oh, shit, the bird's got my sister. Oh, shit. Which means that now Link has to embark on an epic new journey with his new pals here who I'm not actually sure are his friends yet, really. And this sailor girl here is kind of sassy, which I don't understand. I mean, look at him. Look at how can you not be friends with that cute face? Holy shit, that bird almost got me. Yes, yeah, see, look how cute I am. I'm so adorable. Urgh! Holy crap. Oh, oh I'm going to feel that tomorrow. But it's a cute start. It's it's funny. And like, I think this was actually catching me off guard the most. It's actually like intentionally being pretty humorous in a lot of its uh, portrayal here. I kind of, I'm, I'm understanding now why the game has a more cartoonish style because it definitely is like kind of going for a more lighthearted tone, it seems like, which is kind of fun. I'm liking this version of Link. He's definitely very different from any other iteration I played up to this point. He's kind of a goofball. Hey, I'm not a goofball. I get real super serial, okay? You just don't, don't want to see me angry, okay? You'll see, Nico. When I get super serious, I'm really scary. I'm very, I'm very doubtful of that, actually. What? Stop looking at me making my weird faces, okay? I'm thinking my deep thoughts. But anyway, you guys were really uh, excited about this Let's Play, which I'm glad. A lot of people uh, really cherish this game, and I, I can tell this was uh, a pretty uh, important game to a lot of you. But it's interesting because, like I said at the start of the Let's Play, the this game initially wasn't really sort of highly regarded, especially in regards to its art style. And someone who sort of helps to elaborate as to why that was was uh, Jose Ruiz, who last episode said, so now that this series is finally out, here's some Zelda trivia that I wanted to share for games made after Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask to kick off the LP. Back when the GameCube was first announced, Nintendo wanted to show off its impressive graphical capabilities by releasing a tech demo showcasing what Nintendo IPs could potentially become. This demo features a highly detailed, for the time, animation of Link and Ganondorf clashing swords in a dungeon, hyping people up for a realistic, semi-dark, but still fantastical Zelda game. The next mainline title released, however, ended up being Wind Waker, a game with highly stylized and cartoon graphics that people were not expecting. Because of this, Wind Waker was widely criticized as being too childish, and people ended up disliking the game for it. As a result, Nintendo decided to develop their next 3D Zelda game with a style that the fans desired, and started development on Twilight Princess, a game that many people were pleased with at first. However, as time went on, people started appreciating Wind Waker's art style as a timeless classic, while critiquing TP's art style for how it has poorly aged, a criticism seen in its Wii U HD remaster. Nintendo, hearing these criticisms, decided that for the next mainline 3D Zelda game, they would develop an art style that was meant to be both stylish, like Wind Waker, but still realistic, like TP. What they decided to go for was a more self satiated approach to the realism, which was used for Skyward Sword and then later improved upon in Breath of the Wild. Interesting. Yeah, I, I kind of didn't really think about, about that in regards to the, the styles of the games being like a combination of the two. Because I, like I said, I had played a decent chunk of Twilight Princess and it was a much grittier, more realistic version of Zelda. Whereas this one was way more cartoony. But I didn't really think about, I guess, the one that came after Skyward Sword and eventually Breath of the Wild, kind of having a combination of those two aspects, which is kind of neat. That's actually not a bad idea. I think I think brought together, it does make for an appealing art, art style. But that's funny, I, I actually kind of forgot about that. I think I did remember hearing about that at the time where people's expectations were essentially set because of that, of it, that video that Nintendo showed off of Ganon and Link fighting, right? Like showcasing their next gen system. And it almost makes me wonder if they didn't do that, would Wind Waker have been as poorly received initially on its 
art style as it was back then. I don't know. Like, I didn't even play the game, and I, I vividly remember people, like, absolutely shitting all over Wind Waker's art style. It's kind of funny, but now it's actually, like, highly regarded. And honestly, personally, at least at this point, right, I actually think it's quite a beautiful style. The cell shaded look really does lend a lot to it. But, Jose, thank you so much for that interesting, enlightening trivia. And here's that reason you are comment of the day. Oh, but one other thing you guys mentioned to me. So it was actually in regards to the the timeline. So we've now hit the point, right? We've gone through Ocarina and also Majora's Mask. And I know that the, the timeline, it starts to get really kind of funky after Ocarina of Time. So apparently there are three timelines that are created after the end of that game. The timeline where Link beats Ganon, which leads to two, diff two different timelines, and then the, the timeline where he loses to Ganon, and that's another timeline. But the one where he beats him, it essentially results in one where he goes back in time because at the end of the game, Zelda essentially sends Link back to be a child so that he can, you know, live out the rest of his childhood that he didn't have otherwise. And that's what leads into Majora's Mask, right? It was when he goes back to being a child. And that's, I think, called the child timeline. This hour follows the adult timeline because time kept going after Zelda sent Link back. So Link essentially disappears. And that's why the legend of the hero of time has sort of been passed on as he like I vanished, right? And seemingly, I guess Ganon has been, was sealed away at the end of Ocarina of Time, but clearly it what didn't last, right? As it seems like we've been waiting for another Link to like come back or reincarnate or something in this time. At least that's how I'm understanding it. But I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what games come after the, the bad ending and then the ending. Well, Majora's Mask comes after the, the, the child side, but I'm not exactly sure what comes after that, but it's essentially the adult side. So cool. I, I don't know. God, it really does get kind of confusing though, doesn't it? There's like some Kingdom Hearts levels of like time traveling shenanigans or shit multiple timelines and what have you but okay so we're uh we're on board a boat now there's lots of birds like holy shit so many fucking birds and uh what am i supposed to do again a call will reach the forsaken fortress if it's until then go talk to nico and do what he tells you to yeah do do what i tell you to shut up i don't want to ah uh, hello whoa hi there i'm Moshirige pirate are my glasses broken i think they are hmm, that nico ma didn't make out half bad with you being the new swabby and all Swabby. Do I have to swap the poop deck or some shit? What? Ew, no. What? Ew. Where'd you even get that term poop deck? That's gross. You don't poop on the deck, bro. Oh. New Swabby's always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, it ain't me. I'll tell you. Sure sounds like Nico is happy to find out be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure he'll do just fine. So as long as you don't disobey him. Oh, boy. And hey, which one's Nico? Hi. <laughs> so you're Link, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? It's popular for my franchise, I think. Holy shit. Are you Dio? Because those birds are fucking frozen over there. Oh, you're right. It was me, Dio, all along. You got me, Link. Ah, oh God. I'm just joshing with you. Now I think about it, though, I think I've seen nothing like that before somewhere. There wasn't a hentai or something. No, it wasn't. Wait, was it? Can I see it? It's, wait, unless I'm in it. In case I don't want to see it. Wait, which version of me is it? Is it a hot version? Wait, wait, what am I saying? I am the hot version. Hello, I'm coming in. Hopefully this isn't the bathroom. It's gonna be really awkward. Oh. Oh, I can pick this up. Damn, I'm buff. Look at me. Yeah. I bet on mine. They better get used to this. I'm gonna be doing this a lot while I'm riding on with them. This is kind of my thing. Dude, what the fuck? Why did you throw those? Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it? Okay, God, jeez. Take it down a few notches, man. Are you sure, though? No, no, yeah, I'm sure. I could just squeeze by you, though. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'm tiny enough. Go ahead, try. Try and see what happens. See what happens. Okay. I'm just gonna get around here. And stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. I'm gonna bite your legs. Ow, fucker, get out of here. Okay, okay. You're probably wondering why we treat young Miss Tetra with so much respect. She's clearly so much younger than us, aren't you now? Well, yeah, a little bit. She's like my age. Now, I won't go saying this in a very loud voice, but while she may look young, Miss Tetra's actually 35. Oh, shut up. No, she's not. 
Don't pull a thousand year old demon shit on me, man. All right. I watch anime. Okay. I'm fully aware of how bullshit that is. No, I'm serious. She really is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, bro. Whatever. Whatever lets you sleep at night. I think I already have a good idea of what I'm going to find on your internet history. I don't know what you mean. I think you do. <laughs> That's a joke, Shrimp B. I suppose there was this chance that we lost our last miss when Miss Tetra was still young. Whew. Fate is cruel she is. That's why Miss Tetra took over so young. She owes it to her predecessor. Everyone comes to respect her for that, for coming with so much. That's such an age. Respect has nothing to do with how many years you've been on Earth, but you're probably too young to understand that. I guess. Yeah, see, like, the lighting is actually it's actually really nice. I don't know. This is, I think it's a really good-looking game. Really does feel like I'm playing, like, a cartoon. Everyone's so animated. Oh, well, now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <laughs> I am your superior, Nico. You're Nico? Damn, Nico, you really let yourself go. That's Nico with a K, all right? Yeah, sure, whatever. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so do you do as I say, okay? Right, now first, you have to take the test of all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. Oh, Jesus Christ. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram it into your, no doubt, mushy, swabby brain. Is your hair clipping through that thing? Shut up, don't look at my hair. Actually, no, it's not, I, I don't think. I think it's just tied in the back. <laughs> Looks like his hair is like clipping out the back of that thing. First off, you gotta press the switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and step on it. Press your switch pressed. Really? Is this is is this really something you need to teach? Uh oh. Now check it out. If the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Check this out. Yeah! Okay, so I was able to jump out of the first one myself, but the next one was too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. Oh god, what's he gonna do? If you jump right in the rope, you can grab onto it and use the swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, and then press A to let go and jump to it. Check this shit out, boy! Woo! You could've done a backflip. That would've been way more impressive. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing to the platform and platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem, no, Swabby. Platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. This is a very elaborate mechanism to have inside your ship. I feel like you could have probably used this for other more important things, like, you know, food. It would probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. It's ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Oh, motherfucker. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, bitch. Wait, do I have to wait for this thing to come back up so I get my full time? Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, okay, that puts it back down again. Okay, good. Put it up. Start the clock. Here we go. Okay. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, now we're going to go this side. Oh, God, my voice gets really high when I get scared. <laughs> okay, and again. All right. Ha-ha, in your face, nerd. What? He did it already? I, I, I'm proud to have you as, as my underling. I love you, Swabby Green Boy. Swabby what? Come on, give me a hug. No, I don't want it. I don't want to touch you. You smell weird. Come on, hug me. Oh, no. Fucking get away from me. I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. Yeah, I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby. I'll get tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Okay. Get, do I get to look cool? Get, do I get to, like, raise it in the air? Do a big dramatic thing? Oh, but what about these barrels? There's nothing in those barrels. Leave them alone. I don't know. They look like they could be full of something. Don't do that. There's important supplies in there. No, oh, for God's sakes. It's not poor supplies. It's just money. That is important. That was my nice savings, you know. It's going real well, actually. Seems kind of inefficient to put a single rupee worth a dollar in one huge barrel. Well, they take up a lot of room, man. We're too stupid to invent paper currency. Oh, heck yeah, here we go. I'm gonna stick my whole face in here. Oh my God, did I find the Ark of the Covenant? Uh, no, I found a purse. 
You got the spoils bag. You keep the items you you get from enemies in this handy pouch. Oh, okay. You can hold up to eight kinds of items. Okay. Wait, right, so what have I been putting everything in up to this point? Hey, Link, reach the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here. Damn, her voice carries. All right, got it. God, but there's still so much I have to teach you. This is so lame. Ah, well, I guess I can't wait until you finish whatever it is you have to do. Okay, so we got this. Primarily used to hold up to eight different kinds of items that defeated enemies drop. Oh, okay. That defeated enemies drop. Is this like my things you sell or used to make stuff? Maybe? Whee! This guy said these things were supposed to come down eventually. Seems like they're staying up there forever. <laughs> like his goofy music playing. Ow, god damn it. I swear to god, I've been, I've been doing this shit. And it's just fucking ocarina of time. Like, I can't fucking... Like, I'm going to press the button and I just fucking roll into the shit. Does anybody else do that or is that just a me thing? Come on. Damn, that's an angle. Greetings, dirty peasant. Look upon me and despair. Whoopty fucking do. You're really high up. Good for you. Hey, Link, here I am up here. Was Nico's test easy? Really? Well, shit. That took me like fucking 10 years to get it. Fuck. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm actually 45. I truly have a baby face though, right? Right? Please don't have a baby face. I haven't seen you before. The young miss is waiting for you above above. We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Bro. 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 Bro? Bro. Okay, seriously, are you okay? I'm fine. I just haven't slept in like a fortnight. Oh, I love Fortnite. I'm gonna throw you off this ship. What are you doing, shrimp? Miss Tetra is waiting for you in the crow's nest. Shake a leg, yeah, go, hoof it. Okay, God, Jesus. This is such a big fucking rush all the time. Ooh, moon. Oh, well, that's something. What the fuck? Is that a... Whoa, hey, there's a bird. It's like Prison Island or something. Go beat that bird's ass. What are you doing with Nico? I don't know, doing his dumb test. Man, I told him we should use that room for like more important things. That's what I was saying. Tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure. Were you? Well, whatever. Something you need to see. Have a look over there. You didn't give me a chance to answer. That's the Cursed Isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Behold! Wow, I think they got enough spotlights. There are sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look! Over there, by the window. What? Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? Is, are they like attracted to my sister or something? I mean, anything that's the place where they got your sister locked up. Is that like a thing? Because I thought they were just like, I don't know. They just went after people. But it seems like they just follow her for whatever reason. How did you know about my sister's weird seagull gimmick? It looks like the whole place is under a really tight guard. This won't work. We spot before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? What the fuck is that look? Don't give me that look. <laughs> what? what the heck? Why am I on this now? Oh, that's what I get for zoning out for 20 minutes. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me, you'll be fine. No. No, why is it got to be me? The powers do it all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Yeah, but this is my first day. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. Oh, I swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Ah, that was a good one, that lad. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, I didn't block. Ow. Oh, no. You've got to be shitting me. Well, I had a good run. Welcome to the Forsaken Fortress, and the final boss of the game is right at the top of this. Are you shitting me already? Ah! I already hate this. I want to go back home already. Where did my fucking sword go? Oh boy. What the? Hey, listen! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I, for whatever reason, I feel severely triggered by that. Your sword landed all the way up there. Shoot! Sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a, a little bit. Yeah, look on your face, priceless. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, oh, I thought it was Navi. Oh, wait, what's a Navi? Hey, I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I mean, like, communicating with me? I can see what you're doing through this stone. Creepy. And obviously, you can hear me through it. So, if you see, press the A, you better press that button. Get with the buttons. Put the stone on your quest status screen. Uh, use right on the item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen! Carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it. You understand? This thing costs a lot, okay? There's a surprising demand for a magic rock that communicates with people from long distances. I imagine so. All right, then. Down to brass tacks. The courtyards will watch the searchlights, so they'll see you right away. If you just go charge it in. Better think it through. Oh, man. Here we go. Metal Gear Link time. Ah! Okay, also, more stuff to break. Wait. Oh. Oh, I'm not tossing it. I'm, I'm inside of it. Giggity. Cool. Ah, you'll never see me. Do 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 do. Do do. Uh oh. Yep, just a barrel that happened to be there that wasn't there a second ago. Ooh, piece of candy. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy money candy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, seriously, that, that barrel, I swear to God, I wasn't there two seconds ago. It's fine. It's fine, Billy. It's fine. As long as it isn't moving when you're directly looking at it, it's totally fine. I'm sure we're I'm sure we all won't regret our decisions at any point during the surveillance of ours. Can I hop up? Wait, sidle? What the <laughs> look on Link's face? Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll never see me coming. <laughs> He's so expressive. Okay, so I can actually literally put myself against the wall like like Metal Gear. That's neat. Do I want to go in the door? Can I open this? Oh, wow. All right, I'm in. Do you reach me, Otacon? Who's Otacon? You are. Come on, play along. What the? Whoa. Well, that was gross. Can I go in there? Any more rats in there? No? Yeah! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! That hurts so bad. Okay, we still got the little loading areas here. See, is there like a map or anything? Oh! Hey! There it is. Yeah! I like maps. They tell me where to go and stuff. Oh, boy. All right, let's, uh... You smell me? Oh God, I hope not. Hey, this looks significant. Can I? Ow! Sorry. No, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see. Uh oh. Did you just light yourself on fire? Oh shit! I'm going to jail. Ow! I didn't go to jail. Well, that lasted all of two minutes. That's a very large cage for us, a little a little child. I wonder if there's any ketchup I can use. Make it look like I got stabbed or something. I can't even throw the chairs. Ugh. Hey, convenient hole. Convenient plot hole here. Ugh. Ha ha. Thank God for incompetence. I think I heard somebody say there's actually a way to, uh, to make it so you can go into first person. I thought there was a way that somebody said that you could actually go into first person when you are crawling. All right, well, that was easy. Well, I don't keep uh, guards outside the door. 
And hey, they happen to put a church just right outside. Oh man, it's really bright in these things. Behold! Hey, a map. Cool. So it seems like you you don't necessarily need a map to to actually see an area, though. I mean, granted, I guess the other the previous games you didn't need to do that either. And just now I see the a map of the entire area, and it's not that complicated. Okay. Uh, what about over here? Okay, that's where they are. Is that, wait, actually, is that where I was before? When I, actually, you know, I fell, I fell down below. That's where, I, that's down there is where I started. I'm just gonna make my way up here then. Oh, getting a call on my Kodak here. Hey, hey listen! Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can the monster, then maybe I'll shut down the searchlight. I'll be unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. I can smack with the shield. If I were you, I try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows to see if you could make it drop its weapon. If you do that, you could pick it up its weapon with A. That's just me. What do you do? Well, damn. Okay, cool. Use the weapon against him. Or I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Uh, is there something in here? Oh, hey. I don't even need to do that. I just do this shit. Hey, bitch. Shit, hold on, wait. Ow! Give me this thing. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus. Okay, that's that's right, that's the shield. Oh god, I'm fucking up already. Okay, lock on. There we go. Ah! Eh! 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 Ow! Uh. Ow, fuck! Oh Jesus, oh god, oh Jesus Christ! Come back here. Where are you going? Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh my god. Yeah, fucking take that shit. Bludgeon the crap out of you. Oh, I'll take that. All right. I went mostly clean. Okay, well, that's done. I wonder if I can, if I can land on that and walk along the, the side there. Can I sequence break this shit maybe? Uh. Oh, come on. I can, come on. I can grab the top of that. I totally could. Hey, we got a treasure chest. Ooh, a compass. Now you see where things are hidden in the dungeon. View the map screen for yourself to see. All right. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so we got two chests over there. I think I learned that rope swinging thing. Literally the only thing I've learned from these pirates so far. You know, aside from the fact that they're kind of assholes. Okay, yep, still walking around this thing. Good thing I keep reminding myself about it. Let's try to do it again. Now, I'm over here. Cause that's how perspective works. Got another dude up here. Hey, Brosif. Brosif, I got something for you. Oh shit. I didn't hear anything. What? Oh, come on. I'm sneaking. Ah! Well, apparently that doesn't work on you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So blocking makes him drop it, too. So that's just a good way to just disarm him. I mean, they did tell me that. Give me your money, bitch. I'll club you. I'll club you. See, Nico, I told you I'm a savage. Rrr. I told you this is what happens when I get super serial. You didn't believe me. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm really shaking my boots, Link. Yeah, you better be. Does this look like the face of mercy to you? Okay, I am now on this side. I see a little dude over there. But what about if I stand here? Now I'm on this side. Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? Why do you keep looking at the sky every two seconds? I don't know. This looks really cool. I like dramatic camera angles. I've got it, Link. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you have to find the room right below the tower. Wow, really? You think so? Well, clearly you're having a hard time with it. Gotta take the door out, the door out to the outside and climb it from there. Got it? No. 
<laughs> I like how, like he made a frowny face after that. He's like, Jesus Christ, like shut up. I'll figure it out myself. Oh hey. A convenient convenient box for my convenient shortcut. Aha. What? Nope, no but or anything? Fine, I'll do it myself then. But I did it, I beat the puzzle. Ha ha, high five, brain. Oh god. Damn, he's got some big old lips. All right, just gonna use this. I think a lot of these barrels have bombs on them for some reason. Oh god, big rat. I don't like rats. All right, I'm in, baby. Still making my way up. Oh, that's that's actually kind of neat. Look, you see that the boat is actually hidden behind some rocks, so it's sort of hard to see. Glad to see they're not complete idiots. Unlike me. Holy shit, that was fucking close. It's like, I swear to God, I saw this thing move. I swear to God, it was standing up and talking about something. No, you didn't. Oh, okay. Hmm. Why does it smell like old lady over here? God damn it. Tell grandma to wash these clothes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Can I go through that window or... No. Can I like slide or... Uh, I can. Yeah. Damn, I truly am like Metal Gear. That was another box down there for a shortcut too. I don't need no stinking shortcuts. Oh boy. How would I... How are you supposed to do that actually? There's no way I could get past that fast enough. Let me fall down and then... Can I jump back up? I don't think so. You know what? Second thought. Ow. Just in case. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I know what the problem is. I have to get rid of this spotlight over here that I missed. How do I get over here, though? Screw this. Ah! Holy crap. Just roll and hit the ground. Oh, bunk beds. Oh, no. Oh, my God! This is an unusual security system! Okay, we're fine, I think. Hey, I found 10 bucks. Good for me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, where's a bonking implement? I'll try this again. Eat vase, dickhead. That's right, get wrecked. Ah! 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 Man, I'm freaking brutal, bro. Don't give it. Crap. Ooh, joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. Those pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. What the fuck do I use that for? Oh, God, that's not what I want to do. No idea. But okay, that's the last of the spotlights. So now I think I can get over there. Crap. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these conveniently placed hearts here. Not that I need them. I'm such a badass. Oh my god, these fucking seagulls. Alright, there's a big dude over there, and there's my sword to fight him with. And a what looks like something that's gonna trap me in here the moment I step over. I like I never picked it up for whatever reason. Ah damn it! Hmm? There's no reason for putting spikes there. All right, time to kick ass. Ah, 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 ah. Holy shit, he's this girl. This little girl crazy. I'm not a girl, I'm a boy, you jackass. That's right. Beat your ass, didn't I? I'm gonna take your meat cleaver with me. Yeah, that's right. This boy just became a man, baby. Ah, oh, I hurt my fingers. Oh, God. Ah, uh, and I should have brought my glasses with me. Oh, there she is. <gasps> you guys look like you fit right through those bars. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. 
I sense something elusive. Oh, oh God. Burn up, motherfucker! Do, 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 do. Uh -uh. I don't get that reference. Oh! Oh! No! Now I need my little sister to save me! Oh, I can see my island from here. Whoa! Ah! What the? Is that Ganondorf? Holy shit, Ganondorf, you really let yourself go, bro. Shut up. Chuck his ass over there. Toon Link is blasting off again! Ah, well, well. Just leave me. Leave me out here. Leave me to my shame. Link! Link! I got Blink! I think. Pull yourself together, Link. Sounds like it, not her voice. Who's talking to me? What the? Who's talking to me? <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull with it. Oh my God, they're both talking to me! <laughs> ah! Ah! Demon boat! Did I startle you? Ah, ha, ha, ha. I always love pulling that one on uh, random kids. Ah, believe it or not, I'm actually a real hit at birthday parties. I suppose that's only natural. As wide as the world is, I'm the only boat upon it who can speak of the words of man. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. That's exactly what my enemy would want me to think. Touche. Link, I have been watching you since you went to for the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fiercely stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. Yeah, go ahead and tell me more how I fucked up. Suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon! Wow, that's a real shocker. Wasn't expecting that. Actually, it wasn't Ganondorf though, just Ganon, huh? Not the dwarf? He obtained the power of the gods to have to cover the land in darkness. Was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very Sin Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm of the ancient legends speak of. Oh, how'd he get so fat? He always looks so muscular and hot back in all the artwork of him. Ah, oh, you know, legends tend to play things up a bit. I think he's been hitting too many Dunkin' Donuts since he came back. Do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? <laughs> that was going to be an option. No. <laughs> and will you do anything to save her? Yup, yup. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Oh, God, are you my Navi slash tutorial owl? You bet I am. In boat form. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. Damn, you're really not to beat a link when he's down. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you could wield only after much toil and hardship. Oh, really? It's not like an easy path this shit. Do you understand? Slow yup. In that case, we depart to the great sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This has actually been embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. Ah, oh, damn, bro. Wow. I know. It's mortifying. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I brought you to the far, to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who can, will sell you a sail. How'd you get here without a sail? Shut up, don't ask any questions. I'm sorry to ask you this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. Okay. 
The island of Mochis is home to many valuable goods. The information you provide, they provide to you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. So you're saying I should do a whole bunch of side quests in the process. No, that's the total opposite of what I want you to do. Okay, I'm going to do a whole bunch of side quests in the process. You're not, you're not a very good listener, are you? Go up there, get the sail. Did you get a sail? So leave the island and maybe some time before we return again. That's what the pirate girl said before. Why does everyone keep saying that? Make sure you brought everything you need before we depart. How do you know where I'm going to, where I am and I'm not, am not going to go? Isn't that right, pig? Windfall Island. Most people have really weird noses in this game. And they're right, piggy. Wow, look at that. Wow. Wow, look at this. It's a pretty. It's a pretty game. Look at that. Ooh. The light is so soft. Hi, child. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird? Because you all have strange noses and strange heads. What? We're good guys. We don't spread rumors. Why would you? I didn't say anything about that. The fact that you said that makes me think you totally spread rumors. What about you? Ah, oh, God, Jesus. What the fuck is up with your face? What? Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us like we're we like jeepers. Jeepers, creepers. What's up with those girls' faces? Oh, my God. This guy's face, too. What? You have something in your mouth? Or are those your teeth? So I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got a pit, myself a pit pig. Three, in fact. Got a black splash pig, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. And then I'm sure to graze over yonder. The thing is, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. You mean to bring him over here? I already went through this side quest, though. You see, just so you know, if you have money issues, I give good financial advice. You can talk to me anytime, chum. I may not look rich, but I got plenty of cash. Again, I'm doubting that all right hopefully i don't mind if i just walk in here oh well this looks familiar wait it's a windmill right we hear the song of windmills in here dun, 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 this be the bomb shop go on Holy mother of God almighty, that's expensive. 30,000 rupees? Listen to me, boy, out of your mind. You can't pay for these, so scram. How's good like you want to pay for these? You're dreaming. I don't have enough cash to get it. Nope, don't think so. So you sell me a five months, some boy is nobody. Ha, done with you, be a scram. I wonder if I can even do it. Normally you need like a bomb bag or something. I'm just uh, crawl under here and steal that shit. Is there some dynamite stick to, stuck to this thing? What? It the hell okay i'm guessing you, it's literally outside the realm of what you could possibly get right oh but i can sneak baby i've got the power to lie my back against a wall and move insanely slowly oh i can even peek around the corner that's so cool uh, oh god all right i got 213 rupees that's a this feels like a lot for early for early game here. All right. Fortunately, this link has absolutely no issues whatsoever with just stealing what I want. Especially when the prices are exorbitant. Okay, now what do I do? Do I gotta like make some noise or some shit? Ah! I'm in your rafters. Big rats are in your rafters. Better go do something about it. Better go do, oh. Oh, well, that sucks. That sucks. Should probably stop throwing it off the edge. Son of a bitch. Is there anything up here? Oh, man. Also, the money. I'm just thinking here, you little rat. Shoot. Speed it. Scram, vermin. Wait, I'm grabbing the money. Oh, that didn't actually help me at all. I'd be able to reach you. I figured I'd like throw something down there to distract him. Guess not. Oh, God. I've been spotted. Uh, oh, if you please, um, boy, uh, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Ew, no, gross. Ah, that's what I want to say, but I'm just too nice. Okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of idiots taken to the Masekin Fortress. 
Boo-hoo. My sister got taken too, all right? You're not special. What on earth can those scoundrels want with that? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who like to mischief? Well, crying to having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. What? Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand begging. Or just give me money, one of those. Both of those are equal propositions in my book. Hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. No, yes, pay. Oh, my God. I was really hoping that maybe, maybe people wouldn't be crazy in the town outside my island, but yeah. I think I was hoping for too much. Oh, God, I'm another mailbox. Good morning there. And it also talks. Welcome to the Isle of Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't have anything for delivery. You don't have anything for delivery? You don't have anything for delivery? That's fine. You can just care about your day. Really? No, motherfucker. Bang, bang, bitch. Ah, uh, yeah. Just a peaceful place. This here island. Are you sure about that? People here would never even dream of leaving their little paradise and setting sail on a voyage to the sea. You know what I mean? My town's full of faces that don't even show the slightest interest in the sails of a ship. Are we so oh, sailors the only ones? Has someone else set out on the Great Sea? I mean, I came in there from out off the Great Sea. Where do my friends go, by the way? Did I just literally get abandoned by them? Are they still waiting for me? You say you want to sail for a boat. Tell me you're kidding with me. Listen up, laddie. Try using your head a little more. Laddie, huh? Okay. What makes you think a block like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, would give away a very sad and gear needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie. Damn, look at this. <laughs> look at this guy in his strut. Oh, no. Leave me alone, dude. Fuck it. No, stop it. Yes, I, I know, old man. I know. I know. You told me this already. Shut up. Well, hey there. You don't look at all familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? I'm not your buddy, man. Oh, I'm not your man, guy. I'm not your guy, dude. I'm not your dude, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? A uh, windfall and maybe a little cozy, to, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. I'm definitely getting that. Ha! Do I just walk, walk around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. And I just choose to ignore him. And go on my own. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. What? What? Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Winville crown way back when. Huh? I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. Ooh, ooh, I bet you want to see me naked. I bet you're undressing me with your eyes right now. Ma'am, I'm far too young to be thinking about girls naked, let alone you naked. Oh, God. The, the image is still in my brain, and now I can't get it out. Oh, man, it's so dark in these houses here. Holy crap. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. You're standing in the one and only Chuchele Shoe Shop. Really? Ugh. You must have heard our pushes aren't the best. I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's that? What's Chuchele? You ask? Looking so much bewildered? Oh, sir, you must simply be joking. You don't know what Chuchele is. Well, you just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robust? nourishing element. What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. Uh, I think I already know where you're going with this. The words do Jenny brought in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why does the key ingredient in the most effective potions around? All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? Uh, I don't, but there's one right there. Can I just, like, borrow that? A red potion. Drink it to bless your life energy. One drink washes away all weariness. Can I just, uh... Don't have an empty bottle. I can sell you a potion if you have nothing to carry it in. Oh, come on, man. Just let me give me a new one. Give me a bottle of your own. I'll bring it back and fill it up. You know, like most people do for fast food restaurants and stuff. That's how you save a buck or two. What the? Something in there. What is that? Oh, it's a pot. <laughs> Just kind of facing through the bush. That was the dude hiding or something. Da, 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 da. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, look at those shiny pots. Oh. I really would love to break them. Really would love to break them. But I probably shouldn't. 
there's nobody in here. Fuck it. Ow. Ow. Ah! You little Louise! Oh, shit. Well, thank you so much for coming to my home and breaking my high priced vases. If you break any more, I show you that one should not go let go lightly. No, sir. That's it all. I should require compensation. Nope. Don't, don't you think about it. Don't you think about it. Don't you even think about it. Oh, okay, thank God. Oh, God, no, you thought about it. <laughs> you little imp. I swear to God, I'll come down there and beat your ass. To you are fucking shaft. Shaft, I say. You're not going to do shit, are you? You're not going to do freaking shit. Oh, I can't break these. Ow. A thrilling night of money and desire. This way to the auction house floor one, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Is there a time system in this game? Uh, no, it's windfall auction tonight. Bidding starts at dusk. All comers welcome. Except for you. You literally broke all the things I was going to auction. It's fine. You didn't like it anyway. Uh-oh. Wait just one moment. Do you think you can just break someone's faces and leave without paying for them? I'm a short to let your naivete. <laughs> Those happen to be extremely high-class bone china vases that run a minimum of 10 rupees each. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. No. Let me see now. That comes as a total of 70 rupees. I shall accept your payment. Run, 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 Link. Run. No. No. When you break someone else's face, suddenly naturally you can compensate them for the loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because of your destructive tomfoolery. And now because of you, I'm going to be even richer. You know, I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? Don't stand around looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way. Oh, I'm going to get that money back. I'm going to get that money back, old man. You better fucking believe it. You better fucking believe it. Look for sale? I have no idea where you find one. Do I look like a sale to you? Look, I feel down right now. Shove off, will you? Go past the guy in the massive coat or whatever. Got a massive coat? Hello? Well, what do you think about my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outset Island said this outfit to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. Oh, I know. I know that lady very well, actually. It's kind of her thing. You know, something when you stand there, you see a lot of different people pass by. It's a brand new outfit, you know. It's just someone would notice. I think you're trying a little too hard, ma'am, if I may be so blunt. What do you know, kid? Get out of here! Fine, I was just trying to be nice. Hi. I oh, whoa. What the whoa? What whoa? What, what what's going on? What are you what are you doing? Stop. Are you walking around me? The hell are these kids asserting their dominance or something? What is this? Oh, uh, what's going on here? What's what's happening now? What is all this? Huh? What are you looking at, bud? Oh, hey, boy, what are you? Some kind of country rib? I mean, look at that outfit. What a get up. What an accent is what I should say. Are you all alone or what? You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this by yourself. What are you doing anyway? Oh, yeah? Well, you know what I gotta say to that? Ah! But cut their heads right clean off. This town is our turf. Turf of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Buzz, 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 the good killer bees, buzz. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Ah! I need to get the crap out of here. Let me in, sir. Let me in! Let me in! Okay, now what? Hey, more things to break. Take this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, take this. Ah, oh, oh, crap. I can't pull my sword out. Oh, wait, I can still. Yeah. Ah. Hey, how's it going? I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Mary Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? 
Uh, I guess. What can I do for you on this fine day? Listen, we need to talk, Miss Marie, all right? We gotta talk about some shit. I know I may look a bit flashy for a tissue, but I assure you, I am one. How long has it been so but my school here at Winfall Island? 20 long years? Wow, that's a while. Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. I do have a rather joyless problem. This is a delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Oh, I met them. I know. They're, don't worry, they're dead, though. Even though I want patience for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader? A little boy named Marvin and talk some sense to him. All right, you want me to beat his ass? I got it. Please, young man, for me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. That's such troublesome little boys. I bet we'd send over here to how to handle them. But they won't be the mean to, to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We're kids. We kind of live to be mean to each other. Good luck, young man. Oh, boy. I don't like my odds for doing this. Hey, kids, I'm back. Yeah! Yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with us, killer bees, huh? Do ya, do ya, do ya? To tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to because Miss Marie asked you to, right? Tell us how to skip school, right, bud? Tell us how to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invisible gang of four. The killer bees, buzz, buzz. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? But, I'll tell you what, bud. If you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll... Think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? You know, you guys could just, like, not challenge me and continue to do what you do, but okay, sure. Go ahead and give me a chance to beat your ass. I'll take you on. All right. What do you dweebs want? Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're going to hide somewhere. If you find us, we're going to run. You got to try to catch us. Easy as that, bud. We want hot indoors or nothing. And we won't leave the silence. So look for us around the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Wait, what if I never find you? Then I guess we're forced to live outside forever. Ha <laughs> ha! And make you look like a loser. A real loser! Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm the loser. Go! Alright, well, I'm gonna start with the King Doofus himself. Whatever this way. I fucking see you, dude. <laughs> Look at this. He's not even fucking trying. I, I literally see you. He's poking his head right around the corner over there. Guess he hasn't even fucking trying. Right, pigs? I guess that's the reason I come over here now. Aside from wrecking that guy's pot, ceiling pots. Hey, kid. I'm glad I watched him run away. So I go to the ocean. Do I actually have to like crawl? You don't see me. Damn it, you fucking see me. I'm gonna kill this kid. Uh, gotcha. Okay, I just have to bump into you. Ah, lame. Uh, I ain't caught it. You caught everybody yet. All right, one down. Where? I saw your boss head over here. But you were only you on this side. Where's your boss? Have you found the seal yet? I'm working on it. Jesus. Nag, nag, nag. So why somebody dancing up here? Oh, is guy or girl? I can't. That's not it. Just, just not it. The problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Hey, baby. Oh. Fucking disco stew, man. Oh, dear. Pardon me. Pardon me, guy. It was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little you, old you standing there. I'm taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You'll come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Good for you, my dude. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magical dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. Really now? I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. You think you know the rhythm guy? Can't say I do. I don't have an ocarina to do either. Oh, hey. Oh, for God's sakes. Why do I watch him run? Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming, kid. Yeah, uh. he got me. All right, two down, dude. Two to go. 
How's it going? You freaked out by the mailbox too? What do you want? Well, I don't know. I, I acted all weird. Is wrong in the mailbox or something? No? She's so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. Says she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Mm hmm? Just what are you doing, we listen to us, you scamp? Well, I was just standing here waiting for you to notice me. You listen, young man, I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adult ears? We're discussing some very, very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man, so shoot! Fine, be that way, bitches. What the heck? Sir, are you warm in that? My store is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say, he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown in right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it will be appreciated. Okay. Does he also have a huge jacket? It's a safe over there. No, no, you can't just walk into someone's store like that. No, indeed, this isn't proper. Just isn't... Uh-oh. Ow. People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become several merchants. Plus, you can say this is the island where people and money come together. You know what? Money's important, sure. But don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? No, but let, listen to you. Ha, ha, ha. I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. Remember, kid? Touch grass and eat ass. That's what I always say. Uh, okay. I'll do one of those things. Make sure it's the second one. Second one's my, my personal favorite. Oh, God. Yep, sounds like us. The wind's ours whole life. It'd be nice if a fair wind blew today. Yeah, sure would. Uh, oh, there's one of the kids. Peekaboo. Got you cornered. Or not. Oh, my God. Ah, you never take me alive. Oh, Lord. That could be arranged, you know. I'm a coming. Yeah, awesome. Uh, oh, this looks promising. Hello. Hey, curious boy. Did you know there's an island to the li a little to the east of here called the Dragon Roost Island? I did not. Folks say the island is the home of a tribe of people who dance in the skies like birds of the wind. Call themselves the Rito, and they say a... Uh, Sky Spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, the person who's never left this little island, may as well be a fairy tale of a child's book. Oh, if only I had my own boat. Yeah, you don't have a talking boat like me. What the heck? Nobody minds if I turn this on. Oh, it didn't stay there. Ow. Oh, hey, it's the top floor of this guy's house. Hey, motherfucker, give me my 70 rupees back. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. So the sale, yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Myla, was taken away from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I've asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to my sweet Myla again. My precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I kept her called last time I slept more than a week. Silly wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you let a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? No way. Fuck you, man. You stole my money. Fine. But I need my money back. Ooh. You're a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue, I will pay you. Back the money I got from you earlier. <laughs> as much as money as it takes, I'll give my entire fortune for her safety. Freaking better, man. Oh, I see the kid. Top of that fucking tree. Down from there, asshole. No, stop. Shut up. God damn it. Ugh. Since today. Ugh. Shit. 
Uh, you will never beat my rolling technique. Oh, you got me. Damn it. Oh, I can't believe it. You fell for us. You called us too. Come on, utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. Guess maybe it's time we chilled out. For now, it won't cause no more trouble for anyone. Really? It took one game of hide and seek for you to learn that lesson? Okay, whatever. And we're trying to seek seeking bills. Here, take this, bud. <gasps> I got a, ooh, a piece of a heart. Collect four of these. Woo! Now that's how I know I'm playing a Zelda game. It's our fair possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, one more thing. I need you to apologize to Miss Marie for us, all right? We're counting you, bud. You can do it yourself. God damn it. Oh, God, stop walking around me. Ah. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents with me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. Watch it all from the shadow of my door. You really are, dear. You filled me with joy. I have to reward you, so here's a little spare change. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. <laughs> I just give money to a fucking 10 year old or whatever. Is that it? Come show my eyes. My eyes never see me someday. N dear, you will grow into a fine young man. Your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. And I definitely don't tell that to every one of the kids that walks in my door, even those little assholes out there. You like the picture that drew of me? Make me look like a clown. I do not look like that at all, all right? No, of course. Of course you don't. All right, so I guess that was just a side thing. I forgot that was for maybe the main thing. Oh. Hey, sound like you apologize to teach for us. Good old Miss Marie. Speaking of buds, you know it's going to be Miss Marie's birthday soon. Boss, oh boss, you think maybe we should give us some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees. We know teacher's pet. They guys are gonna be nice now. Yeah, but teacher loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's he into these days? I should call him joy pendants. Oh, I got one of those. Really, where do you find them? They're just lying around. If we can just find some and give her to teach the present, she'll be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing the trees the other day, I saw some sparkly on top of the, some tree in town. What was that? Maybe it was one of the pennants. What do you think, boss? Last crazy talk. I think I already have one, actually. No, I do. I actually have one already. Seems I was lucky here. I gotta give it to the kids? Or maybe I gotta show it to them or something. Taking this out here won't do anything. Oh. Here we go. My dear, that's a joy pendant. Tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else and that. But that's extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hardest thing around here. I had to kill somebody for it. Literally. Oh my, yes. I'm happy to take a single one from you. No, no, I insist. Only one. To the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. I stuff put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who, who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Oh, so you might give me a sale or something. She was once again telling me I say hello. Okay, and that's it. Just, I guess. I guess that was just optional. I'm not really sure, to be honest. But all right, guys, I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. This is cute. I'm enjoying this so far. I'm liking this little town. I'm really, I'm really liking how this game looks, though. I honestly, I really love the art style. It's so cute. It's so colorful. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, oh God, till next time, stay classy. What are you kids looking at? For God's sakes, will you get out of here?